Welcome to Creator Classes. In this lecture, we will cover the properties of the median in a right angle triangle. This video is a part of the median series. Check out the other videos on the topic medians under the median playlist. So directly starting with the lecture. We know what is a right angle triangle. Right angle triangle is a triangle with one angle as 90 degree. This is a right angle triangle. Here this angle is a 90 degree angle. And we also know the side opposite to 90 degree angle is known as hypotenuse for this triangle. Here this side is the hypotenuse. And the remaining two sides are known as legs of the triangle. This is a small introduction to the right angle triangle. In this lecture, we will cover the medians with respect to this right angle triangle. As a special case, let's proceed to the first property. The first property is that in a right angle triangle, median to hypotenuse is equal to the half of the hypotenuse. Here, this property is talking about the median which is connecting with the hypotenuse. Here, this is a hypotenuse, so this is the median that we are talking about. Median is a line segment which joins the vertex with the midpoint of the opposite side. Here, D is the midpoint of the hypotenuse AC. As per this property, this median will be equal to half of the hypotenuse. Here D is a midpoint. So AD will be equal to DC. AD and DC will be the half of the hypotenuse. So as per this property, AD and DC will be equal to BD. Means AD is equal to DC is equal to BD. Note that this property is only and only for right angle triangle. Do not get confused with any other triangle. Only if the triangle is a right angle triangle, then the half of the hypotenuse will be equal to the median which is connected with the hypotenuse. Okay. Let's prove this property. Okay. We have a triangle ABC with D as the midpoint of AC. So AD will be equal to DC. Here AD is the median which is connecting the vertex B with the hypotenuse midpoint D. Let's have the point E as the midpoint of BC. Okay, here E is the midpoint. Here we have taken E is the midpoint, means BE will be equal to EC. Let's join DE. We have got a line segment DE. If we observe the triangle ABC and the line segment DE, are you able to correlate this figure with the midpoint theorem? D and E are the midpoint of AC and BC respectively. So as per the midpoint theorem, if a line segment which is joining the midpoint of two sides of the triangle, then that line segment will be parallel to the third side. So as per the midpoint theorem, DE will be parallel to AB. Why? Because D and E are the midpoint and DE is connecting the midpoint of the two sides of the triangle that is AC and BC. So DE will be parallel to AB. Okay. Moving further. If AB and DE both are parallel to each other and we know angle ABC is 90 degree angle. ABC is a right angle triangle. So angle ABC and angle DEC will be equal to each other. Why? Because they are corresponding angle. AB is parallel to DC and we can assume BC as a transversal. The corresponding angles in case of transversal and the parallel lines are equal. So we got angle DEC also as equal to 90 degree. Okay. And BC is a straight line. So by linear pair axiom, we can say this complete angle will be equal to 180 degree. So angle DEB will also be equal to 90 degree. Okay. Both of this angle will be equal to 90 degree. BC is a straight line. So 90 plus 90 will be equal to 180 degree. Got it. Further, if we take the triangle DEC and triangle DEB, are you able to observe both of this triangle are congruent triangle? How? Let's see. DE is equal to DE, that is the common side. BE is equal to CE, E is the midpoint of BC. So both of these line segments will be equal to each other. Further, just now we have proved angle DEB is equal to angle DEC. Okay, both of these angles are 90 degree. So by SS rule, we can say both of these triangles are congruent to each other. And by CPCT, that is the corresponding part of congruent triangles, we can say the corresponding sides are equal. That is BD will be equal to CD. 
both of the sides of triangle will be equal to each other and that is the proof of our property that is bd that is the median connecting with the hypotenuse is equal to half of the hypotenuse and dc is the half of the hypotenuse pausing for a while we have various modules on complex and dynamic mathematical concept which are difficult to teach using the traditional teaching methods we cover the difficult mathematical concept using the visual learning tools check out the link in the description for the various mathematical modules created using the animation and the visual tool that is through the visual learning tools we believe in adding creativity to the learning now let's back to the lecture so we got ad is equal to bd is equal to dc okay we have done a property based on this property we will have a small observation we have just got that length of these three line segments are equal can we say point a b and c are equidistant from point d okay we can say so as ad bd and cd are equal to each other are you able to correlate this with the fundamentals of circles in circles we have seen that all the points on circumference or boundary of the circle are at same distance from the center of the circle okay and this distance is known as radius of the circle so as point a b and c are equidistant from point d so can we say d as a center and ad bd and cd as radius of the circle let's denote these three line segment as r so with d as a center can we draw a circle with radius as r okay we got a circle touching the three vertex of the triangle abc the median bd or half of the hypotenuse is the radius of the circle this circle is touching the three vertex so this circle is a circumcircle that we will cover separately in a separate lecture got the point in case of a right angle triangle medians joining the hypotenuse act like a radius of the circle with center as the midpoint of the hypotenuse and this circle is the circumcircle that is it will touch all the three vertex of the triangle got the fundamental let's take a small question refer the figure in the given triangle pqr find the length of median qo let's refer the figure qo is given as median for this triangle and pqr is given as a right angle triangle at point q QO is the median so can we say O is the midpoint okay medians join the vertex with the midpoint of the opposite side so QO is a median and O is the midpoint of PR that is the hypotenuse and just now we have seen that the median joining with the hypotenuse is equal to half of the hypotenuse so can we say QO is equal to half of PR so finding the value of QO we have to find the value of PR for that let's check the triangle PQR the legs of the triangle are given as 3 and 4 let's apply the pythagoras theorem we got 3 square plus 4 square is equal to pr square on solving we got pr as equal to 5 unit we got pr as 5 and in the question we have to find the value of qo that is length of the median so we got qo is equal to half of pr that is half of 5 units that is 2.5 unit okay that is the answer of the question okay very simple just a small question to show the implementation of the fundamental that we have just studied the second property of the median in a right angle triangle we will cover in the next lecture this equation we will cover in the next lecture so that's it for this lecture thank you very much for being with creata classes bye for now